What's going on everybody? Matt Steinman here, digital lifestyle entrepreneur with Armor Marketing. Today is day number four of creating a successful WordPress blog. Today's is probably going to be pretty quick. Um, we're going to do, we're going to go over some different plugins that you're going to need for your WordPress website. So you should already have your WordPress website set up. You should have it hosted. Um, and if you don't yet, go back to uh, day two and day three and run through, um, you know, how to get it hosted, how to get your domain registered, all that fun stuff. So uh, let's jump on into it really quick here. So here is a list. This list is going to be down below. Uh, these are the, the the main plugins that I usually install on all of my WordPress websites. Uh, obviously, there's a ton more uh, depending on what exactly you're going to be doing on your website, whether it's just blogging or um, you know if you're going to be selling something, if you're doing any uh, you know drop shipping anything. But this is specifically for people. Um, just starting with a blog and a you know a simple design uh, that they chose from one of their um, themes that was from day three I believe so here are the critical WordPress plugins that I install uh, I'm gonna run through these just open up the websites really quick so monster insights is probably one of the best WordPress uh, um, plugins for analytics Google Analytics so um, here's a, a, a quick screen capture of it Number two is Thrive Leads, which is a um, kind of a, it has a, t a ton of different uh, pop-ups, uh, lead generation um, uh, forms and stuff to help build your list, your email list, which is super powerful. Again, um, you can kind of go through the website here and watch this video if you need to. So the third one here is Yoast SEO. Uh, hands down, the best SEO plugin for your WordPress website. Don't even look at any other ones. Um, I believe it's, uh, yeah, it's like $89 per year, uh, which you can get the free version to start off with, but you're eventually gonna wanna uh, purchase the, the premium version. Uh, has a lot more options and stuff in there. So uh, again, hands down, best SEO plugin. Don't even look anywhere else. Uh, invest your money and it's it's a great $89 a year every year you have to renew it uh, social warfare this is also another excellent this is free also has a premium version uh, it's it's for social sh social sharing on your website um, here you can watch this video here uh, highly recommend this one as well obviously you want your content to be shared across different platforms uh, and if your content is uh, you know, if you're, if you're creating epic content, people are going to click on these share buttons and s spread the word. So this is something that you want on your site as well. The next one is Thirsty Affiliates. So this is for affiliate links. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite. There's a couple other ones that um, are out there, but this is probably my favorite um, affiliate link. Uh, basically turns your ugly affiliate links into prettier links um, so this is uh, I believe this a free version and there's also a paid version of this um, so you can choose which one you want to do there obviously if you're starting a blog probably one of the main um, the main things that you that you want from your blog is to monetize it with you know affiliate links whether it be um, through some of the affiliate programs that you've joined or uh, it could be Amazon products, you could be writing reviews on Amazon products, anything. Um, so this is a, a very good way to organize all of your links and make them look pretty. Uh, this next one here, W3 Total Cash. You only need this one if you are hosting. Uh, so in the previous video, I recommend um, hosting on WP Engine, which is probably the, the premier um, hosting provider for Word, the WordPress platform. Um, if you if you use that hosting provider, you don't need this W3 Total Cash. Um, if you're using like Bluehost or Namecheap or any of those other ones, I recommend you get that. It's basically to enhance your website performance, uh, make it load faster, um, mobile load time. Uh, you know, you can read through all this stuff here. Some of it's techno babble that you might not understand at this point, but um, just know that it's there for you and I recommend it. And the last one is insert headers and footers. Um, this might be a little bit more 
technically advanced for some people who are just beginning, but um, just know just um, you're going to need this down the road for installing like your Facebook pixel, um, different tracking codes. If you're using like a heat map tracking software, you're going to need, you know, there's specific pieces of code that you're going to need for your website. So um, those are the, let's see, there's seven there. Those are the seven that I recommend starting off with. Um, kind of the essential ones. And I'm also gonna, um, some people might be asking how exactly do you install these plugins? And I'm gonna show you in a another video here. Uh, and it'll be linked right down below in this document. And you'll see the document. There's gonna be a link down below in the comments. And hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions on plugins or uh, you know which ones to use in addition to these, uh, I would love to help you out and uh, answer any of your questions. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.